through the Romney, uh, chapter 28, and I'm going to show you straight out of the scriptures that uh, slavery was a choice, man. And beheld means to see. All right, so this is John the Revelator saying he see and heard, okay, so he saw and heard an angel flying, not a flying saucer, an angel flying through the midst of heaven and saying with a loud voice, whoa, 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 whoa. And this is what uh, people use to teach the World War One, Two, and Three doctrine, man. Okay, so it says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Flying through the midst of the heaven, I, and I beheld and heard a angel flying through the midst of the heaven, and that's the proof that that UFO flying saucer spaceship doctrine, all right, is not biblical. Okay, it's the angel, the same way the angels, uh, when when Lazarus uh, passed away, the angel took him into Abraham's bosom. This is. Uh Isaiah chapter 28 and 8 it says for all tables are full of vomit and that's what that RFID microchip doctrine is man full of uh, vomit man all right and filthiness all right because it's a lie man to what your uh, uh, wicked ass elders say man because uh, that guy to heart man is a real demon man all right and if you guys can't see it because you spiritually retarded man Okay, all you zombies that follow those One West, uh, them One West alphabet camps, I'm talking about all of them, man. I U I C, uh, 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 Sakari, the Sakari, okay, GMS, okay. If you follow that, you spiritually retarded, man. That's written in this book. All right, you can't find no precepts of that uh, RFID microchip, man. That's not biblical, man. They saw that shit on TV, just like the rest of the madness them guys teach. Them niggas clowns. I'm, I'm referring to the elders, uh, uh, the elders, and you zombies that follow that madness, man. You niggas clowns, man. Okay, you ain't the men of the Lord. You niggas ain't in the truth. All right, first of all, these niggas claim we ain't even in the new covenant. All right, first of all, these niggas claim we ain't even in the new covenant. All right, so that's an example of denying Yahweh Shai right there, man. All right, first of all, these niggas claim we ain't even in the I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha HaKwadash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere, a sincere shalom to the uh, elect. Shalom for the hopeful elect. Peace to the elect. I want to go in this video. Uh, this guy here from uh, Teachers of Truth. I'll try to keep it short because I don't think I'm going to go in on his doctrine because I've done several videos. I think a whole lot of brothers done videos on this guy's doctrine. I don't know where his partners are. The, um, the big Suge Knight looking character. I, I don't know what he what happened to him and the other little Jake that was with him, but now it seems like he's out in little lakes, you know, ponds or whatever, standing and look like he's standing in water. Maybe got them long, tall boots on. I mean, this guy's bugged out, man. You can look in this guy's face, man. This guy is um, purely demonic. You can see the demons oozing off of this man. Okay. Somehow these guys, and, and this is what I want to get in in this video, the dangers, the dangers of not praying enough, the dangers of what the Lord can do to you if you're not diligent and you're not sincere and what can actually happen. I've seen this happen to guys, and it's really scary, you know. There's guys that leave who claim they're still in the truth, and this is what this guy's doing. For some reason in his mind he feels he's still in the truth. And he doesn't realize that the most high just is not dealing with him. Okay? These are called reprobates. Now, if we're to follow this guy and somebody this guy has a following, I have no idea who's gonna follow this guy where and how. 
He brings no truth. Everything he teaches, he teaches contrary to what was taught to him. And this is him with those seducing spirits, you know. This is what happened to this guy. He's got so mad at the apostles of Great Millstone. He got so mad at his his uh, leaders in his camp or wherever he's from. I, forgot, I think he's from Atlanta. I'm not sure. He got so angry. He got so mad that everything that he's teaching is contrary to what we teach. But the man himself, Edom himself, is still spewing hate, poison, okay, uh, an attack on the scriptures, an attack on us. And this guy will go to Vocab Malone's page and leave videos of himself coming against us. This guy aids Vocab Malone and claim the name Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And the scriptures clearly teach, you know, if they, they're still teaching that they're the truth, if it's not of the Most High, it won't remain, okay? We're supposed to still be, even though they, he doesn't agree with what we teach, he's, a sti he's still supposed to have the spirit of who his enemy is. So what happened is we become his enemy, okay? And the Christians of the Christian church has been come, become his lover secretly. He couldn't handle the truth and it's killing him. And you can look in this man's face. He's, he's went to shaving his head bald. So now he wears these hats, you know, it's crazy. You know what the Lord can, can ultimately destroy you and do to you. Okay. This is Timothy. Uh, looks like second Timothy three and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. <laughs> Deceiving and being deceived. The UFOs don't exist. This is what this guy say. Although there's chariot sightings and UFOs every day. Even the heathen knows it. There was examples of the, the, uh, the Air Force looking at him. This man is building uh, a space Air Force, you know. It's in your face. It's in the scriptures. Oh, it's not biblical. Everything that's happening around you is biblical. This is what an idiot will say. Nothing's biblical. The slaves, the slavery was by choice. You know, this all kinds of crazy things. Twelve tribes chart, but he'll call himself an Israelite from a particular tribe. He will still call on the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Why is he keeping that name? If, if uh, Great Millstone was the worst teachers, they're teaching false doctrine, then he need to find a new name of the Lord. Because if the name of the Lord is uh, not, if the Lord is not dealing with uh, Great Millstone, right? And the One West Israelites, then how is it that he got the name? How do we got the name of the Lord? This is confusion to me. And if, and if the Lord is not dealing with us, wouldn't he take that name from us? But he wants to hold on to the name. He wants to be the guy. He wants to be the man. These are those jealous, envious Israelites, you know, covening Israelites that hate the seat that the, uh, the apostles are sitting in. You're going to have that hatred, that jealousy, that rage. They're so quick to want to go up there and sit down with the apostles. As, you know, there has been brothers, so-called that are no longer brothers who did that. Because they all wanted to be seen of men. Right? And when the fame fell between their feet, they dipped and they became very angry. Let's see what the scriptures say. Uh, Luke 11 and 24. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest. Right? <laughs> Except this guy's going standing in the ponds or whatever. I don't know. It's spiritual because there's going to be a lake coming, all right, but a lake of fire. And finding none, he saith, I will return into my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. This is why this guy is trying to stay, continuing being a Hebrew, right? He dropped out. He lost his marbles. But he's, oh, I'm still an Israelite. He claims he's still teaching. The big Shug Knight character, uh, he's in a hyenas. He done took off. I don't know what the hell happened to him. You know. Then go of he and take of to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. You know, seven. 
which could be a, a, a multiple numbers of, of, of demons and spirits. And they enter in, and you can see this guy. This guy is full of demons. Look at his eyes, man. Look at his face. He looks like something from Hellraiser. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. It looks like something from the, uh, the movies, you know? And dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So when he first dropped out, there's guys who fall out. And that they have a, re you know, when you're a boxer and you get hit, there's something called a recovery time where you, you kind of recover. But sometimes you get that hit that you just never really recover. And you just get worse. And this is what happened. These guys, they fall out. They lose their marbles. They, they, there's time for them to recover, but the Most High just doesn't allow it. Those demons come in and it, t it just takes their spirit, you know. The spirit is just taken, you know. Their spirit is just gone, okay. It's just gone. So anyway, this guy says, you know, we're in a new covenant. So I do want to address that. The UFOs and the RFID chip, we go over and over it again. I mean, we go over and over it again and again. I'll, I'll touch on that for a second because he said it's not biblical. And uh, anyone who says the RFID chip is not biblical is um, for accepting that chip. This is all to it. Now, if you claim it's evil and no, I ain't taking that chip, you know, this is what they'll say. This is what I heard him say. I, I wouldn't take no chip. Or if somebody asked him and he said something else. So anytime you say, well, uh, I'm, you know, it's not biblical. What you're doing is telling people that by it being not biblical and people who follow the Bible, when you say it's not biblical, what you're saying is, is it's acceptable. That's what you're saying. Because if it's biblical, then you will go into the scriptures and you would understand this is not the thing to accept. So if it's not biblical, what you're saying is it's, it's not against the scriptures. This is what you're saying. So this guy is going to lead a lot of you people to accept that mark of the beast RFID chip. Anytime, and a lot of these Israelite groups are saying that it's not biblical, it has nothing to do with scripture. And then some are just so caught up because they want to be right, they will say it's not biblical, but I won't. It's, but at the same time, you shouldn't take it. And these are the guys that can't accept being wrong, these are the proud blasphemers that can't accept being wrong. That's what that comes from with those guys. But this guy. He's working with Satan, you know. Satan is using. So the best thing for him is to um, get those things that he claims is not biblical. So he can come back in his right mind. That's the best thing for him. Anyway, Hebrews 8 and 8. For finding fault with them, saith, saith, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt. Right? Because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. So this guy's saying, oh, we're in a new covenant now. See, this guy doesn't know time areas, you know? This is, we're still in captivity, so I don't know what he's talking about. We haven't been led out of this Egypt. We're still in captivity, Okay? Anyway, it says, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their mind and write, the, in their, write in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. So, the question I have is, why would the Most High write laws in our hearts, in our spirit, right, in our minds, just to have a sin in captivity? Does that make any sense? I'm going to give you a new law. I'm going to make you, you know, special again. I'm going to write the laws into you just for you to go off and sin. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, you know. That's like paying rent. 
in an abandoned building. Why would I pay rent in a building that's abandoned? You know? Why would I put gas in a car that doesn't run? Does that make any sense? That he's going to give us laws and write them in our hearts and in our minds just for us to live in wickedness. That doesn't make sense. Let's go on. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. So if we had the law, we would not have to teach no Israelites. If we, if the Most High instructed the law into our mind and our spirits and we was in a new covenant, we wouldn't have to teach no Israelites. So apparently this guy's saying we're in the kingdom. And if that's the case, when we actually get to the kingdom, what is the Lord going to have to do then? He's going to have to rejuvenate us again from all the wickedness that's on us now. Even though he wrote a new law. Why would the Lord give us a new law? Write, 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 a, write, a law, write his laws in us and make us spiritual people just for us to sin and go off. That, does that make any sense? You know, come on, man. For I will be merciful to their righteousness and their sins and their iniquity will I remember no more. And that day and, and that he saith a new covenant he have made the first old. Now which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. So this is not making no sense with this guy saying. And you know I really didn't want to do any you know videos on this guy as far as. His doctrine and he don't believe in the UFOs and he don't believe in the missiles. He don't believe in nothing but Satan. That's all how I gather it. You know, he don't believe in the most high. He's trying to cre recreate his own doctrine. And if that's the case, why? where's his followers? Where are the people? Where's the people that he's supposed to be uplifting and following him and leading? And he's leading the steed. You know, this is that rebellious generation. These are those rebellious people demons you know okay that is this is that is taken captive you know anyway uh, i think i don't have anything else to say on that this guy is um completely gone you know and, and there's uh okay and there's nothing that you can do for this guy he um he lost it <laughs> you know he lost it Anyway, that's all I have on that, Shalom.